Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm at the training pitch by myself. I'm gonna be doing an individual training session and today's focus is all about dribbling. And I've based all of these five drills that I'm gonna show you off what I've seen top level professionals doing. So all of these are inspired by what I've seen players like Messi, Neymar, Tevez, Pato and Ronaldo. If you do want to see these actual players performing these drills that I'm going to show you today, I'll put the links to each video in my description box below. So a couple of these drills I have shown on my channel before, I believe I've done the Ronaldo speed test and also the Pato dribbling drill as well, but I wanted to make sure I compiled them all in one video so you guys can get a full dribbling session in. So I'm just going to get into my warm up, then we'll get into the first drill. So let's go. So the first drill is the Neymar warm-up. So this is how we set it up. We place two cones down, probably about a meter apart to form a gate. And then we take 10 steps directly in front of that to place another cone. Another 10 steps from that cone to place another cone. And then from that cone, we take a final 10 steps to place one more gate directly opposite the first one that we put down. And I've called this one the Neymar warm-up because this is something that I saw Neymar doing when he was recovering from his injury. So he's getting some touches on the ball, building up his fitness. So it's a lower intensity, which is perfect for our warm-up just to get the blood flowing. So this is how we perform the drill. From the first gate to the first cone, we're just doing a lot of ball mastery, getting lots of touches on the ball. We knock it around the cone and go the other side, do the exact same thing. Then when we get to that second cone, it's a quick acceleration with the ball to the gate. Then we turn around and do the exact same thing on the way back. So the goal is to try and get as many touches as possible in between those first two sets of cones, really getting that ball mastery down, using all the different surface areas of the foot, tight control, manipulating the ball, knock it around the cone each time. And then on that second cone, it's a quick acceleration. So this works on a few different elements of dribbling. We're working on keeping that ball close, which is good for tight space dribbling, getting out of trouble. And then we're working on changing gears as well. You become a lot more unpredictable if you can go from first gear to fifth gear, which just means changing your speed, being unpredictable with the ball at your feet. It's a lot more difficult for defenders to read. So this is a good one for Neymar when he's coming back from injury, but we're going to use this one for our warm-up because we're getting a lot of touches on the ball so we can develop a rhythm and also a little bit of an acceleration as well, which is going to be really helpful when we move into the more intense drills. So I like to do this one five times. So for each of these exercises, we're going to do five reps in total. So with five exercises, we will be completing 25 reps in total. So I'm going to show every single rep that I do. So if you're not interested in watching every single rep, I'm going to put the time slots in my pinned comment below so you can skip ahead to each drill if you're just here to get different drill ideas. But if you want to watch the reps as well, I've included every single one of them because my goal is to show you everything I do in my training session. So I'm not expecting anything of you that I'm not prepared to do myself. So after going through this one five times, so there and back is considered as one rep. It's not each length that we do. So we're going all the way there, turning at the end sharply and all the way back five times. Drill number two is the Tevez control drill. So this is how we set it up. We place a gate with two cones about a meter apart. Then we take two steps ahead of that to place a cone. And then we actually place six cones in total, all two steps apart in front of that gate. And then on cones three and four, we place two cones either side of those cones, another two steps apart. So there'll just be two outside cones only on cones three and four. And then we go back to the start and it's a ball manipulation drill. So we're getting lots and lots of little touches, controlling the ball in tight spaces. So this is one I saw Tevez doing a few years ago with Nike. Again, I'll leave a link to the video in my description below so you guys can check it out. It also tells you how to set it up. So if this isn't very clear for you, you can actually go to that drill and it will tell you everything you need to know to set this one up. But it's just a way to keep the ball close, so getting loads of touches. As you can see, with each step that I take, I'm taking a touch of the ball. So the goal of this drill isn't necessarily to go through as quickly as possible. It's not a speed drill. It's more about just taking as many touches of the ball as you possibly can throughout the drill. So using both the left and the right foot, trying to cover all the surface areas that you would use during a match. So both the inside and outside and also the sole at times, which is really good for keeping close control of the ball. So some tips with this one is to take a touch of the ball with every step. That's how you keep the ball as close to your body as possible while moving it. 
and also keeping a lowered center of gravity. So as you can see, my knees are slightly bent. That's gonna help with balance. It's gonna help you keep better control of that ball so you can manipulate it in those tight space situations. And you will find yourself in a lot of tight space situations on the pitch where you have clusters of defenders around you and there's not always gonna be an option to pass. So you have to retain the ball and get out of trouble. So it's gonna be drills like this that are gonna really help you with that. So as always, we're gonna go through this drill five times through. So we're going all the way to the end around that bottom cone that you can see on the screen right now. And then all the way back to the start, stopping the ball at the gate. And I tried to do this exactly how they described it in the Tevez drill. Again, I've left the link to that video in the description box below. They showed a diagram and a dotted line mapping out the root of this drill. So I tried to copy that because it was quite difficult to see from the way Tevez did it. They kept changing the camera angle, doing really close up. So it's hard to see him actually performing it. So I just did it the same way that the diagram mapped it out. So make sure you check that one out below. So I go through this one five times. If you wanna skip ahead to the next drill at this point, you can do so. But if not, we're just gonna finish out this rep and then we'll move into the next drill. Drill number three is the messy dribbling drill. So we're starting to get a bit more dynamic now and increase the intensity because we've warmed up. So we place a gate down like we have done with the other drills as our starting point. Then we turn 45 degrees out to the left, take 10 steps to place a cone. Then we kind of come back on ourselves a little bit. So we're placing another cone 10 steps away from that one, nearer to the gate this time, but we're gonna be hitting that one second. Then we take 10 steps out directly in front of that one to place another cone and then a final cone directly in front of the first cone that we placed down. So I saw Messi using this one in an individual training session he was doing leading up to an Argentina match. So this is what it looks like. Dribble out to that first cone, then we cut back on ourselves. So we're not actually going around the cones, we're stopping at that cone with the ball and then accelerating away from it as quickly as possible. And then once we get to that final cone, we just jog with the ball back to the start and then repeat. So out to that cone, stopping, cutting sharply, and then driving up to the next cone. So this really emulates Messi's style of play. He's always stopping and starting and trying to keep close control of the ball. You'll notice even when I'm driving, I'm trying to take a touch of the ball with every step. And that's something Messi has absolutely mastered, being able to dribble with high speed, but keeping the ball almost super glued to his foot. So I go through this one five times through, then just jog back to the start, and then we repeat again. So this one's a bit more intense, especially when you go five times through without stopping. So you're gonna get a bit of fitness in with this one as well. Just trying to keep good balance every time you go into each cone. So stopping the ball with full control and then going back on ourselves, cutting again. And then it's a longer sprint from that second cone to the third. And once you get back to the fourth, you slow the pace down and go all the way back to the start. Drill number four is the pato dribbling drill. So we place two gates down and we take 10 steps in front of that to place another cone. Then when we place that cone down, we actually leave the ball beside that one because that's where we're gonna retrieve the ball during this drill. Then we turn diagonally and take six or seven steps in, place another cone. Then we take two or three steps out in front of that to place another cone. Then we turn diagonally and then we're placing a cone parallel with the gate that we first put down and we take 10 steps out in front and we're making a small box, probably about half meter by half meter with four cones. And that's where we're gonna finish the drill by stopping the ball within that little square that we made with the cones. So you've probably seen this one on the channel before, but I absolutely love this drill. Great one for working on your acceleration and tight ball control. So we start at the gate without the ball, accelerate up, retrieve the ball, get sharp around that cone, through those two middle cones, down to the bottom there, around there, accelerate up to the top with the ball and stop it in that gate. So it's nice to have a bit of acceleration without the ball. So it's like we're chasing and retrieving the ball after it's become loose. And then we're going around the cones and then a bit of an acceleration with the ball at the end there. So after we retrieve that ball, we've got to slow our speed down a little bit so we can control the ball between those two middle cones, nice and tight around those corners, trying to keep the ball as close to the cones as we possibly can without actually hitting them trying to go at speed as well, so lowering our center of gravity, taking a touch of the ball with every step. Then that final stretch, we accelerate up and we need to have the control to be able to stop that ball inside the square. So again, like the other drills, five times through, 
and that's a full set completed. And the final drill is the Ronaldo speed test. I know if you've been watching for a while, you would have definitely seen this one on the channel before. It's one of my favorite drills of all time. It really incorporates a lot of different areas of the game and even finishes with a shot and goal. So we form a square about four by four steps around the penalty spot. Then we take 10 steps out from the bottom of that square to form a gate about a meter apart where we leave the ball. Turn diagonally and take about six or seven steps to form another gate. And then we go all the way across, so it's probably about 14 steps or so to form another gate. And then that's the full drill there. So what we do is we start in that box on the bottom line with our back to the ball. Get on our toes, then we turn and accelerate up to the ball, retrieve it, kind of like the pato drill at the start. Then we go through those cones just like we did in the pato start, but this time we're turning back on ourselves, going all the way across the 18 yard box out to the other side, through the other gate, back up to the top. And once we get back in the box, we're actually finishing on goal. So it really incorporates so many different areas. We're doing a bit of acceleration without the ball, some tight control through those cones, an acceleration across the box with the ball this time. And we're turning all the way up to the box and finishing with a shot on goal. So as I always do, I like to do five reps with this one. Probably want to take about 30 seconds rest between each of these. And also you can use the same rest method for all of the drills as well if you wish. Some of them I like to go continuously, especially the messy drill, I like to do it continuously all the way through. But if you're not quite ready there with your fitness, just build it up slowly. Take some rest in between, but you should be waiting to get your breath fully back. Get your heart rate back down to a normal pace so that you can attack each drill at 100%. There's no point doing drills if you're slightly fatigued, you're not going to be able to perform as well. It's all about quality as well as quantity. You want to do a good set of reps. You don't want to be doing the first set really well at 100% and then the rest you're only doing at 50-60%. Make sure you're fully recovered, ready to go for the next round. Alright guys, there we have it. Five reps of each of those exercises, so 25 reps all together for a full dribbling session, and you've covered all the angles. Really covered all the areas of dribbling just in that one training session. As you can hear, I'm out of breath from just five reps of each of those, so this was a really good session, good fitness in there as well. So give these ones a go if you can. If you don't have cones, as I always say, you can use anything you have lying around the house just to mark out the courses. This is what top level professionals are doing. So if they're good enough for them, they're certainly good enough for you guys. But if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video.